Folks, this is urgent and very important. Please listen to what I have to say. As the dark clouds of uncertainty gather, casting an ominous shadow over our nation, it's time to confront a stark reality. When the crisis hits, and it will hit with a ferocity that none of us can fully fathom, the government will take drastic measures. This isn't a question of if, but when. Imagine a world where the very fabric of society unravels, where the veneer of order gives way to chaos and desperation. In this nightmare scenario, the government will have no choice but to confiscate resources to maintain a semblance of control and order. Your carefully hoarded supplies, your backup power generators, your solar panels, everything you thought would keep you safe and self-sufficient will be seized for the greater good. Picture this. The government, faced with widespread panic and civil unrest, deploying troops to enforce martial law. Your neighborhood, once a place of safety and community, will become a militarized zone. Soldiers will go door to door, commandeering anything and everything that could aid in the survival of the state. Your food stores, meticulously stocked in preparation for hard times, will be redistributed. Your water filtration systems, a lifeline in a world where clean water is scarce, will be taken to ensure the survival of the military and essential personnel. The recent events serve as a grim reminder of the precarious times we live in. Conflicts and wars are erupting with alarming frequency across the globe. Tensions between major powers are escalating, with threats of war and even nuclear war looming large. The recent skirmishes in Eastern Europe, the volatile situation in the Middle East, and the escalating conflict in the South China Sea are all harbingers of a world on the brink. These conflicts not only threaten global stability but also have direct implications for the United States. The possibility of these tensions spilling over into our homeland cannot be ignored. Moreover, the threat of nuclear war is no longer a distant nightmare but a real and present danger. Nations with nuclear capabilities are flexing their muscles and the prospect of a nuclear exchange is becoming increasingly plausible. In such a scenario, the government will prioritize the protection of strategic assets and essential services, often at the expense of the general populace. The harsh reality is that in times of existential threat, individual rights and liberties take a back seat to national security. In just a few months, we could see the first signs of this impending disaster. Economic instability, food shortages, and widespread unrest will likely precede the government's move to consolidate control. Prepare for the possibility of losing your autonomy as the authorities implement stringent measures to ensure their survival and maintain order. The idyllic life you once knew will be replaced by a harsh reality where every decision you make is under scrutiny and every resource you possess is subject to confiscation. Now is the time to brace ourselves for the inevitable. Secure what you can in ways that are not easily detectable. Build alliances with trusted neighbors and develop plans to protect your resources. The time to act is now, before the full force of this dystopian future descends upon us. 1. Energy Resources Energy resources will be among the first to disappear in the looming crisis. Imagine this. Your backup generators, your carefully installed solar panels, snatched away to power critical infrastructure, leaving your home shrouded in darkness. Picture nights where the pitch blackness seems to suffocate you, where every creak of the house and rustle of the wind stirs a primordial fear within you. Imagine the biting cold of winter without a hint of warmth, the brutal suffocating heat of summer without relief. The government will deem your energy resources more useful elsewhere, and you will be left helpless, your comfort and safety sacrificed for the greater good. The horror is deepened by the stark reality that so few are prepared for such a catastrophic scenario. Did you know that a mere 12% of American households possess backup power? That means an overwhelming 88% of you will find yourselves completely powerless, plunged into a desperate struggle to survive. And it gets worse, of those 12%, only a fraction have enough resources to sustain themselves for any significant length of time. Let's delve deeper into the numbers. Approximately 40 million American households are at risk of losing their primary source of energy. Of those with backup generators, many will find them woefully inadequate. Generators require fuel, and fuel supplies will quickly dwindle. 
the average generator can only power a home for a few days before running out of fuel. What then? The sense of security you once had, evaporating as you scrounge for any remaining drops of fuel, or worse, sitting helpless as the generator sputters to a halt. Solar panels offer a glimmer of hope, but even that hope is faint. Only about 6% of American homes have solar panels installed. These panels can provide power, but their efficiency plummets in overcast weather or during winter months when sunlight is scarce. Furthermore, without batteries to store the energy, even these homes will find themselves in darkness once the sun sets. The numbers paint a grim picture. 88% of households with no backup power, 94% with no solar capability, and even those with some preparation facing the stark reality of limited resources. This isn't a distant, abstract threat. It's a looming nightmare that could strike at any moment, plunging vast swathes of the country into darkness and despair. And what happens to the critical infrastructure deemed more deserving of your energy resources? Hospitals, military bases, and government facilities will become fortresses of light and power, stark islands of functionality in a sea of blackouts. Meanwhile, your home becomes a prison of shadows, where every flicker of a candle feels like a desperate attempt to fend off the inevitable. Consider this. In 2022 alone, power outages affected over 28 million Americans. These were brief, localized events. Imagine the scale of chaos and fear if these outages were to become widespread and indefinite. The infrastructure is already fragile, with an aging power grid that struggles under the strain of current demand. Add a national crisis to the mix, and the grid's collapse isn't just possible, it's inevitable. As you sit in your home tonight, surrounded by the comforts of modern life, take a moment to consider how fleeting those comforts are. The storm is coming, and it's bringing with it a darkness that will engulf the unprepared. This isn't just a warning, it's a call to action. Prepare now, while you still can. Because when the lights go out, the true test of survival begins. 2. Communication In the dire times ahead, the government will take extreme measures to maintain order. Measures that will directly impact you and your way of life in ways you might never have imagined. Picture this. The government will seize control of all communication networks. Yes, all of them. Your radios, satellite phones, and internet connections, those essential tools you rely on to stay informed and connected with the outside world, will no longer serve your interests. They will be commandeered by the authorities, repurposed to spread government propaganda and suppress any form of dissent. Imagine waking up one morning to find that the free flow of information, which you have always taken for granted, is no longer available. Instead, you will be subjected to a controlled narrative, carefully crafted to placate, manipulate, and control you and your fellow citizens. The internet, which was once a vast and open landscape for knowledge and communication, will be reduced to a tightly regulated tool of the state. Social media platforms, news websites, and even personal emails will be monitored and censored, ensuring that only government-approved messages get through. The numbers paint a terrifying picture. According to recent estimates, over 90% of Americans rely on the Internet for their daily news and communication needs. This vast digital ecosystem will be the first target. The government will deploy advanced surveillance technologies, already tested in other parts of the world, to monitor your online activities. Algorithms will flag any content deemed subversive, and artificial intelligence will help enforce these draconian measures. You might think that encrypted messaging apps and VPNs can protect you, but even these will be targeted. Governments around the world have already developed methods to crack encryption and bypass digital security measures. Consider the impact on your daily life. With over 82% of households having broadband internet access, the disruption will be widespread. Internet blackouts will become a tool of control, and service providers will be forced to comply with government demands. The effect on businesses will be catastrophic, especially for the 30 million small businesses in the United States that rely on the Internet for everything from sales to customer service. The economic fallout will be severe, leading to job losses and further societal unrest. Radio, often thought of as an old-fashioned medium, will also come under attack. 
With 89% of Americans tuning into AMFM radio every week, this will be another avenue for spreading the state's message. Emergency broadcasts will replace regular programming, filling the airwaves with government edicts and propaganda. Satellite phones, used by around 4.5 million people in remote areas, will no longer offer a lifeline to the outside world. These, too, will be controlled, ensuring that even the most isolated individuals cannot escape the state's reach. Number 3. Private Property As the situation in the United States continues to deteriorate, the government's grasp will tighten and private property will become a casualty of this relentless crisis. The once inviolable sanctity of your land, your home, and your vehicles will dissolve into a haunting memory. In an era where desperation governs, personal ownership will be obliterated in the name of the public good. Imagine the heart-wrenching sight of your cherished garden, a sanctuary of peace and a source of sustenance, being mercilessly uprooted to serve the collective needs. Your tools, carefully amassed over years, will be seized to support state-run initiatives struggling to keep a threadbare society from collapsing. This isn't a dystopian fantasy. It's an imminent reality. Consider the harrowing statistics. During the Great Depression, nearly a quarter of a million homes were foreclosed each year. Now, with our current economic and social turmoil dwarfing those times, we can only anticipate these numbers skyrocketing. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, has stockpiled over 13 million meals and 1.5 million liters of water, a stark indicator of anticipated widespread shortages and the subsequent government takeover of resources. In 2008, the financial crisis resulted in the loss of 8 million jobs and a 30% decline in housing prices. This upcoming catastrophe is projected to be far worse, with economists warning of unemployment rates exceeding 25% and housing markets plummeting by over 40%. The government's response will not be one of rescue but of requisition, claiming properties under the guise of national emergency measures. Your vehicles, essential for your mobility and autonomy, will not escape this grasp. During World War II, the government commandeered millions of vehicles to support the war effort. In the impending crisis, your car or truck will be appropriated to ensure the continuation of state-controlled services and transportation networks. The historical precedent is chilling and suggests that no aspect of your personal property will be safe. Moreover, the concept of eminent domain, where the government can seize private property for public use, will be stretched to its limits. This legal framework, previously used to build highways and public infrastructure, will now justify the confiscation of your home, your land, and even your personal belongings. Experts predict a dramatic increase in eminent domain cases, potentially affecting millions of homeowners across the country. In a society where desperation dictates policy, your autonomy over your possessions will be stripped away. The remnants of your private life will be consumed by a ravenous state machinery striving to maintain a semblance of order. Already, reports of local governments experimenting with aggressive property seizures are surfacing, setting a terrifying precedent for what's to come. The chilling truth is that this isn't just about losing physical assets. It's about the erosion of personal freedom and security. The psychological toll of seeing your life's work dismantled will be profound. Imagine the despair of watching your home, your sanctuary, being repurposed by faceless bureaucrats for the so-called greater good. The implications are horrifying, and the urgency to comprehend and prepare for this reality cannot be overstated. We are on the precipice of an era where the familiar comforts of private ownership will be obliterated. The fabric of our society is unraveling, and with it, the notion of personal property. As this nightmare unfolds, the U.S. government will not hesitate to confiscate what you hold dear. Prepare yourself, for the age of unchallenged personal ownership is rapidly drawing to a close. 4. Trust in Neighbors in the ominous shadow of the unfolding crisis, the psychological toll on American society will be staggering. Trust in your neighbors, already strained by relentless stresses, will shatter further. Scarcity will breed suspicion, pitting once friendly neighbors against each other in a desperate competition for dwindling resources. Communities will fracture under this unrelenting strain, 
each individual forced into a grim and solitary race for survival. The social contracts that once held us together, providing a sense of security and mutual support, will dissolve into chaos. This disintegration will not be a slow erosion, but a swift and brutal unraveling, replaced by a merciless Darwinian struggle where only the most ruthless will thrive. As this turmoil engulfs us, the very concept of freedom, which has been the bedrock of American identity, will become a distant memory. Movement will be severely restricted, with curfews and checkpoints controlling every aspect of daily life. The once unthinkable will become the norm, mandatory identification and papers just to move from one place to another, echoing the darkest chapters of human history. Our cherished air of liberty, once taken for granted, will be choked by the iron grip of an overreaching state. Statistics paint a harrowing picture. Over 60% of Americans already report distrust in their neighbors, a figure expected to soar as the crisis deepens. Communities that once thrived on cooperation will see crime rates spike by an estimated 40%, with petty theft and violent confrontations becoming commonplace the social fabric will tear apart, leaving behind a landscape of fear and hostility. And what of those brave souls who dare to resist this oppressive tide? Those who stubbornly cling to their independence, refusing to surrender their dwindling resources, will face harsh and unforgiving repercussions. Detention centers will swell with those labeled as uncooperative or subversive, their numbers projected to increase by 200% in the coming months. The fundamental rights we once held sacred, the right to privacy, to property, to free speech, will be trampled underfoot, sacrificed on the altar of survival. The government will justify these draconian measures as necessary, painting resistors as threats to the collective good. Public propaganda will portray dissenters as enemies within, fostering an atmosphere of paranoia and betrayal. Surveillance will intensify, with an estimated 85% of communications monitored to detect and crush any whisper of rebellion. The chilling effect on free speech will be profound, silencing the voices that once championed liberty and justice. Amidst this dystopian landscape, the psychological impact on individuals will be severe. Mental health crises will spike, with anxiety and depression rates expected to double. Suicide rates could increase by 30%, as hopelessness and despair take root. The strain on the healthcare system will be immense, overwhelmed by the dual burden of treating physical and psychological wounds inflicted by the crisis. In this grim reality, the bonds of community will be tested to their breaking point. Families will be torn apart by suspicion and betrayal. Friendships will dissolve in the face of desperate self-preservation, and the once unshakable American spirit will be battered and bruised. The question that looms large is whether we will find the strength to rebuild or succumb to the darkness that threatens to consume us all. Prepare for a future where the once familiar landscape of your community becomes a battleground, where every decision is a matter of survival and where the very essence of what it means to be free is at stake. The hard times ahead will not just test our resilience, but will redefine the very fabric of our society. Will we rise to the challenge, or will we be consumed by the chaos that looms on the horizon? The time to act is now, before it's too late. 5. Economic Collapse Dear viewers, it is with a deep sense of urgency that I bring to your attention the imminent and catastrophic event that looms over our nation, the economic collapse. This impending disaster will not only disrupt our daily lives, but will also fundamentally alter the fabric of our society, plunging us into a nightmarish reality. Imagine waking up one day to find that the value of your hard-earned dollars has plummeted overnight. This is not a mere possibility. It is an impending certainty. The devaluation of currency will be swift and brutal, wiping out savings and investments in an instant. Your bank accounts, which you believed were secure, will be rendered worthless. The safety net you thought you had will disintegrate before your eyes, leaving you in a state of financial despair. In this new, terrifying economy, bartering will become the primary means of trade. The dollar will no longer hold value, and people will be forced to trade goods and services directly to survive. 
This will create a chaotic and dangerous environment where trust is scarce and desperation is rampant. The once stable and predictable market systems will be replaced by an unpredictable and perilous barter economy. Precious metals, which many have turned to as a stable store of value, will become prime targets for confiscation. The government, in a desperate attempt to stabilize its own crumbling finances, will resort to extreme measures. They will seize these precious resources from individuals, stripping away one of the last reliable means of maintaining some semblance of wealth and security. Gold, silver, and other valuable commodities will be forcibly taken, leaving citizens with nothing to fall back on. The statistics are staggering and paint a grim picture of the future. Over the past decade, we have seen a steady increase in national debt, reaching an astronomical $33 trillion. The inflation rate has been climbing steadily, with recent figures showing a year-on-year -year increase of 6.8%. Unemployment rates, while seemingly stable, mask the true extent of underemployment and job insecurity that plagues millions of Americans. The stock market, often touted as a barometer of economic health, is a ticking time bomb, with experts predicting a crash that will dwarf the Great Depression of 1929. When this collapse occurs, it will not be a gradual decline, but a sudden and devastating plunge into chaos. The government, overwhelmed and underprepared, will be forced to take drastic actions to maintain control. This will include the nationalization of key industries, rationing of essential goods, and imposition of martial law. Civil liberties will be suspended, and any semblance of normalcy will be obliterated. The impact on everyday life will be profound. Food and water shortages will become commonplace as supply chains break down and hoarding becomes rampant. Healthcare services, already stretched thin, will collapse under the strain, leading to a public health crisis of unprecedented proportions. Crime rates will skyrocket as desperation drives people to extreme measures to secure basic necessities. In this dystopian future, survival will depend on your ability to adapt quickly to the new reality. Stockpiling essentials, securing safe shelter, and developing self-sufficiency skills will be crucial. However, even the most prepared individuals will find it challenging to navigate the treacherous landscape that will emerge in the wake of the collapse. The warning signs are all around us, and the time to act is now. We must prepare for the worst, hope for the best, and brace ourselves for the storm that is about to hit. The economic collapse will usher in an era of unprecedented hardship and suffering. It is not a question of if, but when, this disaster will strike. Be vigilant, be prepared, and most importantly, be aware of the gravity of the situation. Our future hangs in the balance, and only through proactive measures can we hope to survive the dark days ahead. Number six, healthcare. Healthcare will become another devastating front in this grim struggle. Imagine a reality where medical supplies and essential medications already in scarce supply are ruthlessly seized to support only military and essential personnel. This isn't a far-off dystopian vision. This is the impending nightmare that will engulf our nation. Picture hospitals transforming into impenetrable fortresses, their doors locked to the general public. These once places of healing will become exclusive zones for those deemed crucial to the war effort, leaving the rest of us to fend for ourselves in a hostile, uncaring world. Can you fathom the horror of being sick or injured, knowing that advanced medical care is out of reach, replaced by home remedies and rudimentary care? The numbers paint a dire picture. Currently, about 30 million Americans already face barriers to health care due to costs. Now, imagine this figure skyrocketing as the healthcare system collapses under the weight of an unrelenting crisis. The mortality rate, a grim statistic that hovers around nine deaths per 1,000 people annually, will soar exponentially, not just from the crisis itself, but from the implosion of our healthcare infrastructure. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, warns that even a moderate flu season can overwhelm our hospitals. What will happen when we face a catastrophe of unprecedented scale? With over 35,000 hospital beds already occupied daily due to chronic illnesses, where will the additional influx of the critically ill go? The frightening reality is that they won't go anywhere. 
they will be left to perish at home in agony and despair. The lack of medical supplies will turn simple, treatable conditions into death sentences. In a country where 45% of the population relies on prescription medication, the seizure of these essential drugs for military use will leave millions vulnerable. Chronic illnesses such as diabetes, which affects over 34 million Americans, will become unmanageable. The absence of insulin, a life-saving medication, will cause countless unnecessary deaths. Ventilators, already a precious resource, will be commandeered for the war effort. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw how quickly our healthcare system could be overwhelmed, with ventilator shortages leading to critical choices about who would live and who would die. Now, amplify that scenario a hundredfold. The elderly, the young, the already infirm, they will all face a grim reality where their lives are weighed against the needs of the war machine. Emergency services, the backbone of our crisis response, will be stripped bare. Ambulances will be redirected to transport the injured soldiers and essential personnel, leaving civilians without critical emergency care. The response time for life-threatening situations will increase dramatically, turning emergencies into fatal events. Moreover, the psychological toll will be immeasurable. The mental health crisis in America, where one in five adults already suffers from a mental illness, will be exacerbated as people confront the stark reality of their helplessness. Suicide rates currently claiming 48,000 lives annually to rise sharply as despair grips the nation. Imagine the sense of hopelessness that will envelop communities, knowing that the help they desperately need is no longer available. The mental health infrastructure, already stretched thin, will crumble, leaving millions without the support necessary to cope with the overwhelming stress and trauma of this new reality. Pharmacies will be raided, their shelves stripped bare of vital medications. People will turn to dangerous and unregulated alternatives out of sheer desperation. The black market for medical supplies will flourish, with counterfeit drugs and unsafe treatments becoming the norm. This will lead to an increase in accidental poisonings and adverse drug reactions, further burdening an already collapsing system. In rural areas, where access to health care is already limited, the situation will be even more dire. Over 60 million Americans live in these regions, often relying on a single health care provider for miles around. As resources are diverted to urban centers and military operations, these communities will be left completely isolated, their residents facing a grim and solitary fight for survival. The ripple effects will touch every aspect of society. Schools will shut down as outbreaks of preventable diseases, once kept in check by vaccinations, spread unchecked. Children, the future of our nation, will suffer from malnutrition and untreated illnesses. Pregnant women will face life-threatening complications without access to prenatal care, increasing maternal and infant mortality rates. Economic productivity will plummet as the workforce is decimated by illness and injury. The death toll will not only be a measure of human tragedy, but a significant blow to our national stability. Our healthcare workforce, the doctors, nurses, and technicians who are our front line of defense, will be overworked, demoralized, and decimated by the very diseases they strive to combat. Insurance companies, already notorious for their stringent policies, will tighten their grip, denying coverage for an increasing number of claims. The financial strain on families will be immense, pushing many into poverty. Medical debt, a leading cause of bankruptcy, will skyrocket, leaving countless Americans destitute. Our nation's life expectancy, currently at 78.6 years, will see a sharp decline. The healthcare system's collapse will undo decades of medical advancements and public health achievements. Infectious diseases, once thought eradicated or under control, will make a deadly comeback, fueled by the breakdown in sanitation and medical care. As you prepare for this potential future, ask yourself, are you truly ready? Have you considered every angle every possibility? Have you steeled yourself for the hard decisions that will come? This is not a time for half measures or complacency. The threat is real, and the consequences of inaction are too dire to contemplate. Prepare now, while you still can, for the storm that is coming. Thank you for watching.